Hey, how's it going? This is the old school Sounders theme from the 1970s, the old NASL Sounders. Yeah. You can't hear it, can you? We don't, well, we don't have it. We don't have it piped into the studio. But this this harkens back to the uh, the days of old with the Seattle Sounders, and now the Sounders in the MLS trying to advance to the conference championships on Sunday, taking on Dallas FC in the second leg game. And joining us this morning, Garth Lagerway, the general manager and president of soccer for Seattle Sounders FC. A pleasure to have you this morning. Thanks for thanks for having me. Yeah. So the uh, Sounders have a chance to win the very first MLS championship. It is tantalizingly close. You have uh, a four goal advantage over Dallas heading down there for the second leg. Things looking really good. You you have to be thrilled with the way things have gone. Yeah, I mean, to be up 3-0 after the first leg right. is, is good. It's a great position to be in. Um, you know, it's only happened two other times in MLS history that wow. someone's had that that lead in both times they've been able to hold on and advance and certainly that's what we're going to try to do down at Dallas. A couple of months ago I don't think anybody foresaw this happening. Something happened at a certain point this season and this team caught fire. Can you put your finger on what that was? I think it was a whole bunch of things. I think we added a player in Nico Ladero. We yeah. got a player back in Roman Torres who'd been out for a year. Um, we got a new coach in Brian Schmetzer uh, and he gave the players a new message which was look this is your team and there's a lot of prideful veteran guys in that locker room. They've never missed the playoffs um, we were struggling uh, and I think you got took this positive message in that locker room you added those other things and the whole soup kind of came together yeah it sure did and, and and you just announced earlier this week that that Schmetzer is indeed going to be the official head coach moving forward removing the interim from his title and so obviously you have a lot of faith in what Brian Schmetzer is bringing to the table absolutely I don't think there could be a better fit for our club culturally than Brian uh, he's done an outstanding job uh, if anyone's ever earned the job I mean I, I came to him with three months left in the season and I said look we've been averaging one point a game all I need you to do is double that and we'll be good uh, and sure enough he did it so uh, he's been awesome this is a team that has dealt with adversity as well Clint Dempsey uh, leaving the team with a heart issue and obviously you know all of Sounders nations uh, hearts go, go out to him um, and his family and, and he's been in our thoughts and I know the teams as well has that been a source of inspiration for the team I mean you lose maybe the the best American soccer player uh, ever and still are, are able to achieve what you have you know, certainly losing Clint was a blow. There's no question about that. And, and uh, you know, still hoping we get him back at some point next year and hoping for a, for a speedy recovery Absolutely. for him. Um, and certainly, look, he's been a part of this team for a long time, and he's been in constant communication with his teammates. He's been a positive presence. He's been a part of the group, um, even if he's not physically out there on the field. And, and certainly that's been really helpful for yeah, all of we, us. We hope to get him back soon. Um, so I want to go live now to Chicago. You are a huge Chicago Cubs fan. This is happening as we speak wow. and as a lifelong Cubbies fan. Uh, Garth, I know this ha has got to, to really kind of pull at your heartstrings a little bit. The, the World Championship Parade just getting underway. This is, this is absolutely awesome, and, and I never thought it, in, it might happen, but uh, it, uh, it's great for the city. Um, you know, generations of people that rooted for the Cubs, and to see them finally win is, uh, is, is really cool. And look, uh, if the Cubs can win their uh, first title in a century, then uh, maybe the Sounders are ready to win their <laughs> first title I, I as like well. I like where you're going with that. I like where you're going with that. We're going to continue to look at the, these live pictures here. You were introducing Brian Schmetzer as the permanent Sounders head coach the other night um, while this game was going on. That had to have driven you crazy that you couldn't follow this this final game seven as it was going on. Yeah, you know, as uh, one of my buddies joked, he said, I bet you'll be able to find that on DVD after the fact. So, so, so all well. It ends well, and, and uh, one of our PR guys actually was a huge Cleveland Indians fan, so it was oh it's a little bit of pull and t tug and pull. But uh, uh, you know, look, it was a great night. We were with our Alliance Council. We got to announce Brian. Um, it's a big deal for our community and our fans to do that. And Brian's the right guy for the Sounders. And Wouldn't it be it. fun? Wouldn't it be fun for Seattle to be able to, to celebrate an MLS championship? We've been so close, you know, so many times, but we just haven't been able to get there. This may be the club to do it. Could be, could be. We got to get through Sunday. We know yeah. one step at a time, uh, but. But, you know, hopefully we can press our advantage in Dallas and get through that. And then we got maybe three more games to play, and that'd be a lot of fun. All right, Garth Lager, way with the Seattle Sounders. Thank you so much. Great to have you this morning. Appreciate you being here. All right, go Sounders. And we'll be right back after this.